And welcome back to Nigeria at 58, nearly six decades of nationhood. We turn our attention now to the economy. What are some of the key issues? And I always say, when you have more than one economist in the room, bring out your calculator, because they're never going to agree. Um, joining me to discuss this is the MD CEO, Financial Derivatives Company, Mr. Bismarck Rewane. I um, also have a seasoned economist and analyst, Dr. Bongo Adi. Also joining us is uh, Mr. George Atomi, the director of a co distribution company that's talking about power supply. And uh, Mr. Johnson Chuko is the MD of Carry Assets Limited. All right, I can hear some people chuckling when I mention this year of power supply, but uh, integral part of our economy. So since people are chuckling, let me start with you. Um, the economy is being hobbled. I think there's no doubt about that with the issue of the absence of regular consistent power supply. Now, you're a director of one of the distribution companies. Not putting you on the spot, but what exactly is going on and how can we get out of what's going on with a view to getting the economy to jumpstart? Well, um, a little bit of background is important to understand where we are. Now, since independence, Nigeria has been grappling with the issue of power supply. At some stage, the colonialists planned power for the limited use that there was at the time, and that was mainly found in the urban areas. But as we transited into military rule, very little was done to expand the infrastructure that was in place. Meanwhile, the population was growing. What we eventually have come to inherit is a mismatch between a population that's hungry for power because it's the key to a diversified economy and what you really have on ground. Now, the sustainable economic goals tell us that ideally you should have a thousand megawatts to a population of one million. So ideally, if we're 180 million, we should be looking at 180,000 megawatts. But what are we talking about today in Nigeria? Seven thousand megawatts so you can get even that is being contested even that, even that is I was, I was, four thousand more like it i was just coming to that that's the installed capacity now nothing was done by way of addition or improvement of the infrastructure so what we're struggling with today uh let's go to the base two-thirds of our power needs come from the from thermal plants the feedstock is gas. We have a gas policy that's not doing anything for anybody. The gas producers will tell you there's no infrastructure to evacuate the gas. When the plan was made for um, the concessions were given for oil production, nothing was thought about what gas would do for domestic use. So the gas is either being exported as LNG or it's being flared. When you need so much gas, to feed internally. And now we are at least five years away to building the sort of infrastructure that can help evacuate gas when you finally get it, which is why you have disruptions to your supply. Then you then come to the next member of the value chain, which is your generation. On the generating side, we have capacity, installed capacity of today about 12,000 megawatts, but it can only produce 7,000 maximally. But even out of that, you go to the next value chain, transmission. The limited capacity, they can't do more than three or 4,000 megawatts. So you have stranded power. And then you then come to the distribution company, which is the last mile. And that's the face of the industry, which is why people always chuckle. But the truth about the distribution companies is that they can only distribute what they receive. With all these hiccups on the way, there is Clearly, a need to align all the policies that would ensure that this machine begins to work efficiently. In my opinion, the privatization is the right way to go. I think history will tell us, and economists will tell us that government in business is, is, is not on. So, what you now need to Maybe do. Maybe you is, mean our government in business? Well, generally speaking, generally speaking, not our, not our government. You are not programmed for business, that's, that's mm. it, and all that. So, you, so, what you need to do is you need to look at what has happened now that the sector has been privatized, not entirely, by the way, because 
transmission is still with the government, distribution is 60% with the private sector, 40 with government, and then the generating companies are about 20% government. Um, what has this model, is this model working? No. Clearly, it's not working. Can it be improved upon? Yes, it can be improved upon. And we can look at what has happened till date. I know you're trying to interrupt. Yeah, because what, what I was going to say.